Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rainborn Studios. I'm your host, Elaine McGurr, and in today's video, I'm going to be drawing Robert Pattinson's Batman. Let's draw. Alrighty everybody, so like always, I start out with just getting out that stick figure. Just getting over the general pose. And now I'm going in and adding in the massive beefcake forearms that Batman has. I always really liked Batman having really long ears, but with this one he has short ears, so I had to put short ears. But whenever I see Batman, like from Long Halloween, I just made a new animated feature on that movie. Which if you haven't checked that out, you gotta go check that out. That movie is awesome. Um, anyway, I really like the really long ears for Batman, but this one has short ears. Something that's really interesting about this new suit is it doesn't have really big fancy gadgets or super high tech. It's literally like a jumpsuit. He's wearing jeans or like combat pants in this and I love that. You're gonna see me draw that when I get down to the pants, but it's just, I don't like Batman having really high tech gadgets. I like the really big gritty, you know, doesn't have a lot of stuff, it's just, him in a suit <laughs> and I really and I'm really excited about them doing a story that's based off of year one because that is my favorite Batman comic book for obvious reasons if you haven't read that you got to go read that it is absolutely wonderful but since they are doing this suit is kind of inspired off of year one if year one he only has it's just like a leotard suit and in this it's kind of like an armored leotard suit and in that they have the um the batmobile is just like a muscle car and you've seen that in the new trailer that the batmobile is just like an armored up muscle car and i'm so excited for it i don't know what these things are i'm guessing they're just like little throw darts or something i they look like arrows for a minute but that's 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 the wrong superhero but that's on the suit so i'm drawing it on the suit um Yeah, there it is. Just cargo pants. He's wearing. He's literally. Batman is literally wearing cargo pants, and it is fantastic. And I'm loving every second of it. And it freaked me out for a minute when I was looking at reference pictures. I'm like, wait, is Batman got a gun? But no, it's just the holster for his grappling gun. I'm like, wow, I am stupid.
Dude, I'm telling you, the squirrel is enormous. I feared for my life. One second. You like comic book art, right? You like watching comic tutorials and art challenges and you want to learn how to draw better? If you consider subscribing to the channel, go ahead and just click that subscribe button, that notification button, and ring that bell. And if you like the video that you're watching so far, why don't you hit that like button? It shows a little bit of appreciation. It helps boost up the video. Catch you later. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm here. I'm like I said, this, this it was massive. Like, seriously. All right, now I'm starting to move on to personally my favorite part of doing any drawing, which is the shading part of the drawings. Now you can see me right here, I'm just doing some cross hatching, playing around with the shadows for his face, and just going in different directions, trying to make it a little chaotic. I'm just feeling around, seeing what I want to do for it. Ultimately, I'm going to end up being shadowing half of his face anyway, so a lot of it's going to be getting covered up, but still, it's the process. Of now here's something that is really important that you see a lot of artists do, and this is line weight of me taking a thicker line on the outside and then a thinner line on the inside. Now that can differentiate sometimes when you're drawing to where if you're wanting something, if something's closer to the viewer, you're going to want to make the line thicker, where if it's farther away, you're going to make the line thinner. Now, what you can see me doing right now is I am getting all of the harsh, dark shadows on there because I'm taking the the light source, which is having the moon that's in the background, is lighting him on his left side. So I am filling in the top left. So I'm going on to the right side and shading all of that areas and I'm adding a cast shadow down from the bottom there and I'm going to be coming out with a video for how to do sh comic book shading and stuff like this so be on the lookout for that. So this is one of my favorite parts of drawing and I see a lot of artists have really good artwork but if they don't have good shading and stuff in it sometimes the pieces just look flat. Now right here you can kind of see me trying to replicate that Jim Lee poster from the Batman. I really like the red aesthetic that this film has. It is so freaking cool. I love it so much. Um, I kept playing back and forth of did I like it without the red? Did I like it with the red? And I ultimately chose down the red and I limited some of the clouds that were in there. And finally, I am adding some rain to the piece. I thought that could help it a little bit because Gotham is very rainy. So here it is, the final piece of my cover for the new Batman film, The Batman.
All right, everybody, that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button. If you have a suggestion for what character you want to see me draw next, go ahead and put that in the comments down below. I always enjoy your suggestions. You'll see more comic book content and art tutorials and art challenges. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see the rest of my channel, go ahead and hit the bubble over there. If you want to see my latest video, go ahead and hit that bubble over there. That's going to wrap it up for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Hope you guys have a fan-freaking-tastic day.